Now this leaked image is said to be a photo taken at an Asus internal design proofing meetup and it clearly shows Asus next generation ROG Strix graphics card cooler which apparently got 3080 Ti labeled on the side. Now this photo has sparked a couple of questions, the first obvious one, is this what the new Strix card will look like? There seems to be a couple of updates here compared to the old one. Another question I see a lot is probably even a more important one, clearly we can see 3080 labeled on the lower left side, so if Nvidia decides to keep TI as a name, what happens to the rumored RTX 3090 then, said to be replacing the 3080 Ti? We're gonna talk about this, stay tuned. Hey what is up guys, welcome to Arbin Hardware, my name is Robin, I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. Lately there's been tons of leaks regarding Nvidia's up and coming Ampere based graphics cards, also known as GeForce RTX 3000. Now this is a massive, very strong indication that we aren't far off from a final product and in other words we should have a couple of very exciting few months ahead of us with leaked benchmarks, additional photos and a lot more so yeah it's a, it's a good time to be a gamer basically. Now in today's video guys we're not gonna touch uh, so much about previous leaks regarding specifications and core count and pricing etc since I have been covering this uh, in plenty of videos before so in case you're not fully up to speed basically. Have have a look down in the video description where you find literally everything you need to know. Now this leak guys is brought to us by video cards and it comes from Asus. It is a picture clearly showing a GeForce RTX 3080 Ti ROG Strix graphics card. Now just a few hours ago uh, video cards updated their article with a statement saying that they have been told that the screenshot comes from uh, an internal design proofing and that they are quite confident that this is real. However it is important to have in mind that this particular design doesn't have to be representing the final design. Also guys, the photo was originally in a much lower resolution, but it has been scaled up so that we can get a better idea of what we are looking at basically. Anyway, let's do a super quick side by side comparison between the old and the new card. The first obvious thing that comes to mind is that we can see that Asus seems to be keeping their semi passive triple axial fan concept. This makes me think that this card will be quite powerful. Now given that Nvidia is jumping on a much smaller manufacturing process, this would in theory result in better energy efficiency and lower temperatures, but it does seem like this card will require some serious cooling regardless. And we have seen rumors suggesting 200 to 250 to even 300 watts on some of these cards. And that to me makes it sound like Nvidia has been bumping up the clock speeds quite a lot, well over 2 GHz boost clock, otherwise it wouldn't make sense having this is massive cooler. Now another big thing is the design right, whereas the front of the old cooler had a single piece of plastic, had a single you know, shroud in plastic, it does seem like the new one has a metal frame in place, which to me makes me believe that this cooler could be a bit more expensive to make, but please let me know your thoughts down below. Now, apart from the design itself, as far as logos and text font goes, that all stuff seem to stay identical. Now, interestingly guys, we can see 3080 Ti on the lower left side, which sparks the question, what happens to the rumored RTX 3090 then, said to be the card replacing 3080 ATTI. Well, according to video cards and WCCF Tech at least, they both speculate that this leak may indicate that the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti will be the top model in the whole series and that the notorious RTX 3090 may not happen after all. Super quick recap here. As for specifications, well, according to the most recent rumors, by the way, guys, it should be said that these numbers are changing all the time and they will keep changing until anything is better official. Anyway, we believe that the top model in the GeForce Ampere lineup is based off of the GA102-400 GPU, but the 3080 Ti is a slight cut down of that, set to feature 5248 CUDA cores and 12GB of GDR. Uh, 6x memory clocked at 21,000 megahertz, which is a huge step up from today's RTX 3080 Ti. Oh, sorry, 2080 Ti. So many names to keep track of these days. Anyway, this is supposed to give us up to 40% FP32 performance and up to 70% better ray tracing performance than against current RTX 2080 Ti. And again, guys, there's plenty of more to these numbers. And in case you're curious, 
I've linked up a couple of videos down below that covers this in much, much greater depth. As for release date, that is still unknown. I see partner cars. It's a good indication that both market and manufacturer are getting quite ready now. So that being said, September seems to be the target for the media event. But in case you're curious, yes, my previous videos covers this in much greater detail. Now guys, I want to know what do you think happened to the GTX 3090? Did Nvidia just kill it or is it still alive? I think it's still very much alive. But I want to know what you think. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos to learn more. And I will see you guys in the next video.